Atom. What is Atom? Atom is the smallest unit of any substance, and it is invisible to naked eyes. Hello, can I play with you guys? Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, I must zoom in. Hi guys, can I also play with you guys? Hope you recognize me. Are you serious? No one. Hey, I am Adam. Still you can't eat, okay? Then, let me help you. I am going to tell you my story. There was a time when people were not much interested in science and life was passing normally. People were aware of matter though. I found copper matter. I found new matter. But, what was buried in slide was not known to anyone. Suddenly, in 1789, Antoine Lavoisier announced that he found the basic substance that constituted the matter. He called it element. He said it is the basic unit and could not be broken down further. He also gave the law of conservation of mass. Being a chemist and availability of tools, he actually could not go further. The time was passing by until 1805, when John Dalton told if two elements form more than one compound between them, then the ratios of the masses of the second element which combine with the fixed mass of the first element will be ratios of small whole numbers. And he explained the reason this happens, because every element is made of unique and similar kind of atoms. He is also considered as the father of atomic theory. Term atom was adopted from ancient. Greek adjective atoms means invisible. Now do you know, who am I? Yes, you are the atom. But can you tell us a little more? How can we see you? Was Mr. Dalton could see you at that time? Okay, then let me explain a little more. Though, you can see me now. It was not possible until 1897, when a physicist J.J. Thomson discovered the electron and concluded that they were a component of every atom. Contains low mass and negative charge. J.J. Thomson, he told electrons are distributed throughout the atom possibly rotating in rings, and their charges balanced by the uniform sea of positive charge. His theory was later called Plum Pudding Model. Later in 1909, Ernest Rutherford suggested that positive charge and most of atom mass mass was concentrated in nucleus at the center of the atom. We now know it as Rutherford Model. Soon after in 1913, work of Frederick Soddy described that there might be more than one kind of atoms in same element, called them isotopes. And Niels Bohr suggested that the electrons were confined into clearly defined, quantized orbits, and could jump between these, but could not freely spiral inward or outward in intermediate states, but electrons cannot randomly change the orbits rather need specific energy for that. It was known as Bohr's model. It was later, in 1932, explained by James Chadwick, who discovered the neutrons a neutral charged particle, with a mass similar to the proton, and find them responsible for different isotopic forms. Oh, now we understand. We know all the scientists. They are in our textbook. Okay, can we play now? So what does the atomic number or proton number stand for? Well, the total number of protons in the nucleus of an atom 
is called the proton number or the atomic number, whereas the sum of the total number of neutrons and protons together is termed as the nucleon number. Do you know what is radioactive decay? This is the process in which a nucleus of an unstable atom loses its energy by emitting particles of ionizing radiation in the form of alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Therefore, materials that exhibit radioactive decay are called radioactive material, such as radium. Did you know that the nucleus of an atom contains a lot of energy? To know more about this, let's check nuclear fission. Nuclear fission.